Hello and welcome back to Nafi's Not Facing Garden. Today we go through my patio container garden and just to give an idea for anyone who has a small space like mine, please watch and enjoy. Thank you. Right, so to begin the video, I'll give you an idea of how the layout of my garden is. So what we can see is the double door straight from the kitchen diner straight into the garden. Now, I've got a two-seated uh, table there, but you can fit more if you'd like. But then what I've done is I've stylishly added lots of potted plants to one side of the patio. Being a mom of uh, three boys, you understand there's a lot of running around. And I don't want to, to be obstructed in any way. At the same time, I want to be able to sit out in the morning and enjoy a cup of tea while looking out and smelling my roses and admiring the beautiful uh, annuals and bedding plants that I have. Now I'll sort of give a 360 of the rest of the garden then I'll go in a bit more detail okay so right from the patio we head out into the garden space and uh, of course there's a need for lots of space to run around hence I can't just make everything into a growing space there's a, sw a set of swings there and all the way around. So this is the edge, it's coming through now, where I have managed to create a bed where I get the most sunlight towards the end of the day at the furthest end. And the bottom is a bit more shade. So I've sort of stylishly made a little shade garden. Right, now that you have an idea, and leading forward uh, to complete the 360 will be the set of uh, fence or gate that leads out of the property to access the garage. So next, I'll go through slowly, uh, with a more close-up, uh, what I actually have in these containers. So I've got uh, mostly pots. I think these are terracotta pots from home base. They are quite affordable. Uh, I think I got them for $9.50 each and I got the pot stands as well because I think it just helps prevent slugs from hiding underneath your containers and the first two containers that you can see now are actually roses and they're called I think it's the fairy series of roses they're roses with long flowering period during the I think from June to September they're just starting to flower as you can see and but then there's lots of buds waiting to open on both of them and then behind it is what i have my climbing rose it's called the generous gardener it had tons of blooms on it but the rain has just devastated them and then i had to deadhead but we still got lots coming through and as you can see i'm slowly trying to train it although this is this first season and when then as the season progresses we'll see how much of a growth it puts on although i'm aware there may or may not be some pruning at the end of the growth season and next to that is another stunner which is the poet's wife another david austin rose this again has been devastated by the rain if you watch my previous video you might see me asking for tips on how best to train them or to support them but I'm aware I might need to do some deadheading. I just love the sight of them and I just hesitate to take off the spend blooms. That's a bit aged of a bloom, so I need to be taking that off. And back to the front row, I've got my beautiful variegated hosta, which this year I have evaded the slugs by placing them on feet pot stands and they've been doing beautifully last year oh my i'll insert a photo they were ravaged by slugs and they're doing so well this year um this uh i'm not sure i think it's a that one i think it's a euonymus but it's just so cute now i think it looks good in the pot i may have to transfer it back into the border and next to it is another hosta and then I have my beautiful uh, Pelagonium Belladonna, which is a scented one. The bees love it. And then at the back there and there, here, these are mostly annuals, um, a combination of petunias, coleus, which they were all, they, all these were pluck plants, you know. So I feel a bit 
like I had to do a lot of babysitting before I was able to plant them out. They were plucked plants, so they're quite a bit behind what you can get from the nursery. But then I think it's a uh, gardening is a labor of love, and then I'm willing to see them grow. Although by now, if you go out to most garden centers, they're probably got uh, flowers in bloom. But then I'm happy to wait and see them grow. And it's all a learning curve, isn't it? Next year, if I'm going to get plugs, I think I might start them quite early, but then I haven't got a greenhouse. So moving on, I like to think of this as my autumn container because it's got like rust colored coleus, some nemesia, and then I'm not sure, I think these are called, I don't know what they are, but I'll find them. Uh, the name and insert it but i thought this was a orangey burgundy yellow container and that's beautiful and at the back there more reeds of geranium slash pelgonium and nemesia as well as some calibrachoa continuation of the same theme but then i've inserted a cypress plant a cypress plant uh, for extra green dash and i'm gonna back up this is one of my this is the oldest plant in my garden my camellia japonica i'll insert a photo of when it was in bloom but oh my i love it it's three years old it's the oldest plant in this garden as well as the topiary we got them at the same time when we moved here about three and a half years ago it's been doing very well the leaves are quite deep green healthy i'm just going to keep feeding it feed for uh, acid loving plants because it will put up all the buds for next year's flowering so just because the flowering is done doesn't mean you fold your arms i'm just going to keep on loving it and tending to it and then it'll show another you'll have another beautiful display next year and then that's another random plant that i had i think three years ago as well and then it's done very well. I think it's a Euonymus. And as you can see, the pot is really aged. And another tip I will give, it's really good to have um, pot toppings. They really help with the drying out of the container plants during the summer. It helps with the retaining. It's just similar to uh, mulching. So you can have mulching for compost. You can have barks. And you can use uh, pebbles and other ornamental stones as topping as well. And then my beautiful hydrangeas. Oh, I've t not talked about the lollipop. My boxwood is a bit sick at the moment. I'm really trying for it to survive. I think it's got what is called the boxwood blight. <laughs> I've gone ahead and taken off a lot of the diseased branches and sprayed some clear fungus. I've replaced the compost, added box feed, but it's still not doing very well. We'll just keep an eye on it but i have a low threshold to get rid of it i'll give it one more season and see what it does and next to that i sort of carried on with the although it got onto the lawn now i just had more containers to fit in and i couldn't resist so i've just placed them on the on the grass so these are large macrophylla hydrangeas uh this was in my video of how to rejuvenate a hydrangea if you haven't seen that please check it out and then i have to say it's beginning to have well baby blooms there in the back and there i just tucked it in the corner to avoid my kids prematurely blocking it off but these two hydrangeas i got them from facebook market and you wouldn't believe they were so affordable that's another tip if you're a beginner gardener and you just want to save yourself some money go into your local facebook market and see what's on offer there's lots of things there on sale so we'll wait for these to be in bloom and then we can see what they look like. And then the last pot there is my gladiolus. I think I got these on clearance and I thought, why not? I'll see what it looked like. And they shut up. Spear-like leaves for now. We'll see what they come up with in the summer. So this wraps up my patio garden space. And in another video, I might do an update of the the border, which is at the moment still maturing. But most of the plants went in the previous season, so they've been able to establish. And 
top okay and these are my container they're slow but surely getting there i think it just goes to show how much growth the container plants from the garden centers a lot of work goes into those baskets man so you have to respect that when you start on your own without a greenhouse or light or all of that extra it takes a bit of time to get there but this is my little container slash patio garden thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed this video if you did please like comment and subscribe thanks for watching